Hi there, thanks for watching. My name is Christiana. My channel is The Well Behaved Wallet. My goal is to get out of debt, stay out of debt, grow my income and my assets, and to live a life of prosperity. And my mission is to use my well behaved wallet to help me love the life I have while building the life of my dreams and to inspire you to do the same thing. So, today's topic is something that I love hearing about in other people, but I don't love like those shiny videos that are like like um, where it seems like the person has everything under control and they're like all together and it's like oh you know and this is how you do it and it's like like in a perfect world like the type of videos I like to see are very like practical with day-to-day -day, like tips and, and tricks and, and things that actually work in everyday life so I'm gonna talk about how I prioritize manage time and stay motivated like in my everyday day-to-day -day life so these are things that I do I have five um, five items on my little post-it note um, and they're just kind of like things that I think about in the middle of, of like the mess that goes on and the, the beautiful mess that goes on in my everyday life. So I guess that's important too to say that nothing, almost nothing goes exactly according to plan. Sometimes it's better. Sometimes it's way worse. Sometimes there are always like hundreds of variables and exceptions that pop into everyday life. I think the important thing is to manage to stay on target and on task despite that. So that's my number one tip is to have a clear focus on what you want to get done, what you want to achieve, and to be able to <laughs> say to sort of pivot um, and to redirect your attention if something that you've planned or if your plan doesn't exactly work out. That's really, really, really important. For example, um, and to be realistic, like as I'm talking about it, I'm like, it's important to be realistic. Um, so like, let's say you have this focus and you're going to wake up and you're going to exercise and you're going to exercise for an hour in the morning and you've like set your alarm. You're like, this time I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You sleep through your alarm and you're like, oh crap. And you're rushing. So I guess if you remember, uh, you have your clear focus, then for me, what that looks like in my life is, okay, the focus is exercise. What's important is to exercise. Um, so I will like take five minutes and do like a Pilates roll up. I will do I, like jumping jacks or I will take five minutes and reaffirm that that's important because again, it's not necessarily the length of time you spend doing something, but the commitment to do something that is important. And that's um, tip number two is to recognize what's important. So in this illustration, what's important is um, health and exercise. And the desired goal is to be healthy and to have a body that you feel healthy and, and, um, and good in that you feel good in so that's recognizing what's important so for me actually this morning I did not do that exercise but what I did do was my morning meditation now this is where I take literally three minutes because like it takes me from the time I like get my my butt out of bed to the time I get in my car to drive to work it takes me like 20 minutes and that includes a shower and like hair and makeup <laughs> hair and makeup um, so I don't have a lot of time in the morning. I don't make a lot of time in the morning um, because if I just got up earlier, I would have more time. But in this case, like I'm just, I'm prioritizing rest as well. But what's important is that I set my mind for the day. So I will take almost without fail three minutes. I'll set the timer on my, my phone and I will sit for three minutes in complete silence. I do like a morning reading and then I give myself those three minutes of just silence and just sitting and being. And I have found those three minutes to be so powerful that it's completely shifted my mindset for the whole day. And I have done this maybe for, I want to say for a month and a half, the three minutes. I wish it were seven, but right now three is better than none. So that is where that's really important and that's really made a huge difference for me. Um in terms of recognizing what's important. S number three is to do the hard stuff first and to just power through. So three and four are kind of linked. Um, and four is to give yourself a time limit. So I heard um, this woman, I forget her channel on YouTube, but she just said very simply, the advice she gives her kids is to do what you want, do what you have to do first. First, do what you have to do. And second, do what you want to do. And I'm like, that's genius. That's such simple genius. Do what you have to do first then do what you want to do. So this is like key. And I think the way that I translate that is do the hard stuff first, just power through. And I link that to number four by saying, give yourself a time limit. So how this works out in my life is, um, for example, eBay, I have to, I, 
my goal is to put up a certain number of listings and I have all the details. I just need to sit my butt down and list. And at the end of the day, when I'm exhausted, that is the last thing I want to do. However, what I try to do is say, okay, you just have to do it for half an hour. You just have to do it for 45 minutes. You just have to do it until this person comes home. So I'll put on my headphones. I have a routine. I put on my headphones. I make myself a cup of decaf coffee with sugar-free coffee mate creamer in it. And I say, okay, all you have to do is list for half an hour. And that's all I do. I have my songs that I listen to. I get myself laser focused focus, no distractions. I just do it for half an hour. Whatever I get done is it. Then I stop and I'm really committed to myself and I honor that commitment and I say, nope, 30 minutes, you're done. If you want to do more, great, but you only have to do 30 minutes. And it's really sort of like parenting myself um, and saying, hey, all you have to do is this much. And that's really worked really well because again, something is better than nothing. So you can't achieve perfection fine. Something is better than nothing. Done is better than perfect. Done in reality is better than perfect in your mind. So tip number five. Um, and this is, this is kind of interesting because I hope that I'm doing this actually. Number five is to find motivation in everyday people. So I have some friends that I really look up to who are super productive and super high achievers. And you have to be careful with this because it's it can almost border on comparison, but that's not the idea. The idea is to inspire yourself with these success stories. Um, maybe people who are persevering despite odds. Like there are a lot of channels on YouTube here that actually do... Um, that are really inspirational. I actually find a lot of inspiration from Broken Over It because she's doing just an awesome job with her seven kids, like surviving in the situation that she is in. And I find like a lot of motivation and I'm like, wow, like she can do this, I can do this. So really finding a lot of hope from that. Not necessarily people that um, are huge, you know, big success stories that everyone knows. But really in like, for me, it's like smaller people, but also like celebrities that I look up to. Um, you know, I think, how would so-and-so handle this? For example, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend with their two kids. Like, she struggled with infertility for a long time. And I'm like, you know what? I bet if she could go back and talk to herself three years ago, she would have a, you know, look, look at the success story that she has to tell herself now. So that's another thing that keeps me really motivated is to just think about the success stories around you and the success story that you will be able to be one day. So that is how I prioritize, manage my time and stay motivated. I hope this has been interesting and hopefully helpful to you. If you have any questions at all um, on prioritizing or if you'd like to share your like number one tips for productivity, I would love to hear them and share them, um, see them in the comments. I'm sure other people would love to see them too. So thank you again for watching and I hope that you'll keep watching.